Would you want more or less time in your day? More, more, okay? Yeah. But if you said less time, you're officially getting your wish. Who's saying that? Chief Meteorologist Tim Panday just explains why the, how the time of year impacts how long the sun stays out. As we continue to push later into summer, it's worth stepping back and noting how our days have begun to noticeably get shorter. It all started back on the 20th of June, the date this year of the summer solstice, the beginning of summer, also known for having the longest duration of daylight of the entire year. On that date here in Norfolk, we enjoyed 14 hours and 41 minutes with the sun up. Ever since then, the daylight has been chiseled away. At first, it wasn't noticeable nearly at all losing a measly few seconds, but gradually the daylight began to fall off at over one minute per day, which on a day to day basis doesn't seem like very much, but add it all up. It amounts to a sizable loss of daylight. Just how much have we lost since the solstice? Well, about 27 minutes to date. The loss of daylight will accelerate, though. By the end of August, we'll have lost a total of one hour and 43 minutes of daylight. Of course, it doesn't end there, losing daylight each day right up until the winter solstice in December. This loss of daylight is most notable in the time of sunrise and sunset. This week, the sun is coming up about 18 minutes later and setting about nine minutes earlier than it did on June 20th. But by the end of August, the sun will set another 31 minutes earlier than today and rise 44 minutes later. For 13 News Now, I'm Chief Meteorologist Tim Pandages.